the two are converging. Traditional broadcast journalism is becoming very much like uh, podcasting and, and vice versa. So podcasting, where it started with somebody in a headset like this, with bad audio just doing their thing is now grown into people creating studios and, and, and professional companies getting in and making really well produced content and vice versa when you watch the news you see them talking about their Twitter uh, accounts or their face following them on Facebook or finding these ways of interacting so I, I think the styles are headed towards each other but with podcasting the way I do it uh, as I mentioned before it's really about integrating the audience into the show. Uh, I, I actually rely on my audience to correct me on things that I don't know that much about. Because as a journalist, you can know a little bit about everything, but you can't know in depth about everything. So I'll do a story. Let's say it's about uh, the ISP recently that put out a policy saying they're going to do a three strikes law against copyright infringers and, and, the, and uh, voluntarily. And so if anyone on their network is accused of copyright infringement three times, they're going to kick them off the network. Uh, so I can, I can report that, and I can report all the facts, and I can have a discussion about what I think about that. But I don't know anything about that ISP. What I like about podcasting is it allows me to say, hey, is there somebody who actually used that ISP who can give me some background? And I actually got a couple emails on that story where people are like, I used this ISP. This is what their customer service has been like in the past. This is why this move doesn't surprise me. Here's some insights into why they may have made this move, some other things that weren't reported that folks didn't know about. Obviously, I have to be careful and check to make sure those are true. And it's not just somebody you know riffing off the top. But if I get two or three different people emailing in, uh, and I can reasonably uh, confirm that, oh, yeah, there I, I, I did a search, and there's that advertising campaign they talked about. It's a great extra source of information that you, probably, you don't have. And the way I learned journalism was you go out on the street and you talk to people with your dictaphone with the micro cassette inside. You just didn't have access to this large pool of people that the internet provides you.